Hey, how's it going? Today, I've got a very special review. I've got Titan's Return Windblade and Scorchfire. <laughs> so this is uh, the Titan's Return version of Windblade. On our jet mode. And uh, just quickly, we'll go over the art there. I kept the collector card in there. It's pretty much just more of the art. Uh, there's the Titan Master and her. No Titan's Return, typical Titan's Return thing. A little description, you know, all that stuff. You yeah, know, you know that stuff. So, anyway, so i uh been on the hunt for this figure for a little bit, and uh, I finally got her. Uh, now, the reason I want to bring you Windblade today uh, is because I'm not sure if you're aware uh, probably <laughs> this this past weekend uh, this weekend was um uh tfcon 2020 online of course because of what's happening out there in the world and everything that's happened this whole year uh, it's been online and uh the chosen prime uh announced their tfcon exclusives uh, one of those helios which is planet x's version of the uh ultra magnus but in the uh powered convoy color so the backbone colors uh so that's pretty cool and the second one was a collaboration with fans hobby uh and turned their athena into a wind blade and she's a car so they named her wheel blade and i'm very excited to uh have that and looking forward to that and reviewing that soon hopefully uh but uh in the meantime i'll take a look at her first iteration uh, incarnation, I should say, as a headmaster. There's a take a closer look at that, but it's our headmaster. Um, so, I mean, none of the wind blades have really figured this 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 mess out in the back. It's not terrible. It's actually pretty good. It's better than I thought as far as the jet mode uh, goes. But you know, there's a gap here. And those are clearly her hands. You can see that. That's very obviously her hands. Let's see if I can get a little more light in there. There we go. Um, yeah, so. Typical for jet formers, but definitely female jet formers they haven't figured out at all. But uh, these, these little turbines move and the wings move up. If you wanted some articulation. So. But overall, not bad. I think she looks pretty good. So let's just uh, get a couple other bots in here for comparison. Here's a uh, more modern figure here. Okay, this is the Studio Series uh, Shatter in her, in her jet mode. And so another female jet red and black color scheme. So, and at the deluxe price point, so. Thought it'd be a pretty fair comparison. I actually really like this toy. So, that. Here is um, another uh, Titans Return figure. This is uh, Highwire. I mean, Highwire. Highbrow, sorry. And uh, the reason I brought him out for comparison is uh, they share some of the same transformation elements. So, uh, you know base this on this so to speak so yeah there's that one and there's a uh, fans hobby athena so this is the uh mb12 mb12 uh fans hobby so and that's basically the uh their version of minerva so yeah pretty cool it's cool to have these figures, you know, next to each other because uh, of what they mean for Transformers in general. Uh, but it's, it's really cool that, that uh, the Chosen Prime is going to make it one figure. So that's that's pretty awesome. So, And, you know, she's never been a car. So that's cool. Yeah. So uh, since we're here, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, oh, and she does have... Let's bring these in first. She does have two swords. So this is, um, instead of the one typical wavy purpley sword that she has, which the new version wheel, wheel blade will have, 
uh, thankfully. Uh, she has these. There's two swords. Uh, they snap together to make one double sword? I don't know. But uh, you can, if you wanted to, store it a, different, a couple different ways. You can, let's see here. Let's do this one first. You can, with uh, these little tabs, stick them under there. Let's do this one on the side. Jeez. <laughs> Trying to work out which way work look better. That way I think is better. And eh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess it's futuristic. It doesn't look great, but whatever. These swords were. I just feel like not for her, and I'm surprised we never got, you know, we didn't get much repeats of the weapons in Titan's Return, except for uh, Blur's Blaster, which came with friggin' Chrome Dome, um, on the Blur molds, I mean the molds, but the, the guns themselves, um, uh, not Chrome Dome, Brainstorm, right, so, uh, yeah, but if you want... You can combine them like I already had them combined. And there's a little hole there. It looks like it would fit a 5mm board, but I haven't tried it. And this just kind of fits in there. And what you do is get the little Titan Master out. Now, unfortunately, there's just no paint on this at all. It's just white. I mean, wait, it's just black with a white face, and the the face is all white, and it, so is the visor, so it all is just, you know. And I get it, because that face is really well detailed, so, you know, they, had a, they put a lot of paint into the face, so she got kind of screwed. So, but, uh, you know, we'll go over basic articulation. It can only go up that far. Uh, just because of the shape of her shoulder. And, uh, you know, typical tight master. Sitting, backwards leg, doesn't bend back, and head on a ball joint. So, you know. So you can have it interact a little bit. You can have it sitting there, or her sitting, standing there with these little ports or you can have her plugged into the and all the guns that was a stupid thing from Titan Returns too all the guns mainly there's there's a part of the toy that came off that became like a little sled or something for the Titan Master so so yeah a little sled and I mean if you wanted to you could put her on here I just feel like that would work better as a gun I guess you could imagine it's a gun I don't know but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just do uh, some comparisons with Scorch Fire, just so you know, as you can see. Here's Highbrow. I forget what his name is. I mean, I go for the Japanese continuity where this is Highbrow, so... I mean, this is high for me. I don't think that... Maybe they are the same mold. The arms are... Oops. Just flew out of my hand. The arms are remolded, but the uh, the bodies are the same. The heads are remolded. Yeah. But. And Athena's. So this is one of the uh, fans hobbies power drivers so the uh the headmaster for athena also athena so just so you can see you know these will be one and the same so all right so we'll take a little pause here and then we'll start into uh Transformation. Let's put her back in here for now. And we'll get right into it. Okay, so transformation is pretty basic. I know I just put her in here, but <clears throat> she also has landing gear. Just so you know. 
and uh, skids, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I know I just put her in here. I'll take her out. Transform her. Ooh. Very difficult. Pull that up. And yeah. Hold on to your butts. Some crazy, crazy transformation. Oh yeah, unplug these. Unfold these. Flip up these. Flip back this. Rotate these around. Collapse. Oh, and bring our shoulders up. Right. Plug her head in. There she is. And she looks really good, I think. You know? Not bad. You can have her holding the uh, double sword. Uh, I think it looks kind of stupid. But you can't really hold it the other way either. So, whatever. Just have her holding the individual swords, I guess. Also doesn't look great, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Bring in some comparisons. Uh, so here she is with Shatter. Like I said, red and black jet female Transformer. Obviously Decepticon, though. Got a deluxe scale figure. Just a little bit taller. Titans Return Highbrow. Uh, she looks a little bit shorter than Highbrow in this case. Um, so, uh, like I said before, he's got the same gimmick there. So, I think S Scourge had it too, so they all shared the same gimmick transformation. And uh, the nose kind of goes on the back right there. You know, very similar. And, of course, what we're all here for. Athena. So, yeah. Pretty cool. It'll be nice to have the wheel blade or do comparison between the, the three of them. So, overall, I think this is a pretty fun figure. Uh, you know, articulation wise, uh, rotation. It's got like a ratcheted hip right there, which is weird. Um,. You know, pretty much full me. This goes all the way back. Uh, you know, no wrist, of course. And her hands are permanently open, but she does have 90 degrees, and the head kind of goes all the way around. I think she's got a little bit of the Titan Master wobbly head syndrome, but uh, not too bad. It stinks that these are ratcheted because you can't have her. In like a little little bit wider stance without it being super wide. Uh, but then of course the wings and the actual wind blades compose. So yeah, but uh, overall, you know, I think um, I think this is a little hard to come by. It was like the last wave of Titans Return. So, uh, but uh, I think it generally generally was overlooked as as a toy. Uh, I know the Takara version. Uh, is worth a lot more now because uh, she's got uh, the uh, Target Master and just a better paint scheme. But I think this is a solid figure. I think this is a solid jet and a solid bot. And uh, the robot mode for being a female doesn't look that exaggerated and crazy. I mean, it, they brought in her waist a little bit. You can still see she's got that backpack behind it. But overall, I think they did a good job. So... Alrighty, so that'll bring this video to a close. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And uh, be ready for some more reviews of Transformers, third party, and uh, other random toys I have. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.